Ants life. Ants do not have noses or ears, and despite having mouths, they cannot speak. Instead, they have two long feelers on their heads called antennae. These antennae are great little tools that are very important in an ant's life. Ants use them to pick up smells, to feel vibrations through the ground, and to communicate with others. Ants hardly ever sleep. Instead, they have little power naps that last only a few minutes at a time. These little rests were the best part of the day for Dorado. It was during his naps that he felt truly relaxed, without having to worry about work. Dorado was seven years old. He was seven years, two months, and nine days old, to be precise. Although seven years, two months, and nine days seem rather young to you and me, Dorado was a middle-aged ant. To be middle-aged means that he was already halfway through his life. He was a follower. Nearly everyone in his colony was a follower ant, and so he felt like he was nothing special. There is something important that you need to know about ants. In each nest, there is a queen ant, finder ants, and follower ants. Finder ants find different foods, and they can make trails that have a very strong and powerful smell. The follower ants then use their antennae to follow the smell trail to harvest the food. Whatever food they find is collected and brought back to the nest. It is funny because a finder ant never knows what it is going to get when collecting food. The size, weight, and location of the food are completely random. This meant that Dorado had to walk a lot, usually around 5,100 meters a day. That is the equivalent of a human running three marathons every single day. In Dorado's nest, Finder ants were popular. Their glorious reputations meant that followers wanted to be just like them. Finders got special treatment, they were allowed more time to relax and given better food to eat. All this extra food meant that the finders grew much bigger and stronger than the followers. Sometimes this was bad because it made the finders extremely bossy. Often, they thought they were better than everyone else and could do whatever they wanted. Nevertheless, Dorado wanted to be the ant that found the biggest and juiciest bits of food. He dreamed of finding a fresh, plump red apple, untouched by anyone or anything. He dreamed of sinking his jaws into that apple and only stopping eating once his belly was fit to burst. Apples were Dorado's favorite food. He loved that they were juicy, delicious, and full of sweet sugar. Eating apples always gave him an extra energy boost. Dorado daydreamed a lot. He would daydream about being the most successful and famous finder in the colony. He would dream about having jaws 20 times bigger so that he could gobble up five or six mouth-watering apples in one big bite. The idea alone made him smile from ear to ear. He loved these thoughts and ideas so much that he would even daydream about the relaxing times in which he could daydream. One day, during one of his short power naps, Dorado had a daydream that would change his life forever. It was a truly magical, yet terrifying, idea. For Dorado, the colony had been his world. It had been the only life he had known for all of the seven years, two months, and nine days that he had been alive. But suddenly, Dorado came to a crucial realization. I have become so focused on what is happening in my little world, he thought. I completely forgot about the rest of the world out there. For his entire life, Dorado's purpose had been to make other ants happy. 
the queen and the finders would fill their bellies with the food the followers had carried back to the nest, leaving only scraps for Dorado. Who said it had to be this way? pondered Dorado. If I want to find the biggest, the crunchiest, and the juiciest apple, why do not I just do it? That was the first time in his life that he realized that his happiness should come first. He was halfway through his life, and if he didn't act now, he would only be wasting time being miserable and bored. Dorado was determined to leave the nest behind and follow his dream. So, with a head buzzing with excitement and a stomach full of butterflies, Dorado set off on his adventure. He left the entrance of the nest as if he were going to work. Instead of following a trail, as he would at work, Dorado changed direction. Unlike a finder ant, he did not leave a trail behind him. I must be crazy, thought Dorado. Without looking back, he headed towards a cluster of trees in the distance. Dorado realized that the pursuit of happiness is the only thing that makes life worth living.